Hi, my name is Karam Tuba. I uh, managing partner in a uh, film production company based in Dubai, and uh, I've been living here for 25 years.
my relationship with Nebanon started at the age of 17. I flew there to kind of uh, be part of the rock and metal scene uh, there uh, for the lack of that kind of music in uh, Dubai. And uh, I started a relationship, a long relationship, really related to music to Lebanon at a young age. And uh, also my sister and my mother both studied in Lebanon. And uh, I even learned Arabic through my Lebanese peers when I was uh, growing up here.
the explosion that happened in Beirut um, really was something I partially understand because the last time I kind of experienced something like this was in the war in 2006 and um, I know what I was feeling and I know what the Lebanese people were feeling but the only difference is, is that even though it was my first time experiencing something like this they were resilient um, and uh, their drive to um, wanting to you know live life to the fullest has never stopped and my message to them that you know you went through hell and uh, you guys are so resilient and my message to you is don't give up and kullun yani kullun
nightlife scene in Lebanon it has a legacy and what I feel that through all the turbulence um, in their uh, political uh, sphere has allowed them to escape um, the daily realities of corruption um, of the government and the political sectors. And uh, music played a huge role of escaping um, things that, that is out of their control, but at the same time, it helps them stay in touch with who they are. And when that escape is done, when that night is over, they come back to the reality, but the only difference is that they are now wanting to change what's happening. And uh, music has always been a driving force for political movements, and that's exactly what Lebanon is doing right now.